Today we're going to talk about goat milk. We're here at my sister's farm with her goats. This is one of her babies. Baby. Super sweet. But as much as I like baby goats, I have never been a big fan of goat milk. Whereas I'm a huge fan of goat milk. Yeah, it just has so many benefits. You know, if you think about it, it's naturally homogenized. It breaks down easier in our bodies because the lactose chain is smaller. And so for those people who are lactose intolerant, goat milk is easier digestible for them. So because of all those benefits, I've always kind of wanted to like goat milk and I, I've tried adding a few things to it, which can help definitely. But so when I first started getting milk from my sister's dairy, I thought there's no way I'm getting goat milk. I, I, it was just straight cow milk until she finally convinced me to try it and it was good. And right off, I started taking the, the goat milk and was like, hey, this is some of the best goat milk I've ever drank. Well, so I started asking her about it because I wanted to do a video for uh, making palatable goat milk, but <laughs> hers was already palatable. So I asked her, I was like, well, what do you do? What's the difference, you know, between like the goat milk that we had the entire time that we were growing, growing up? up? Yeah. And the goat milk that she has on her dairy. And the primary thing is, well, there's a couple different things. One, cleanliness. You got to make sure that when you go in and you milk, that you clean off their udders really well. Well, make sure that there's no hair that's gonna fall in there. In fact, she says that she'll go and she'll trim from up before their udder all the way back to their tail, just to make sure that there's nothing that's gonna fall in her milk and contaminate it with that musky flavor that can so often be in goat milk. Another thing is um, being sure that you're giving them good food. Alfalfa is super sweet and so it makes for a better, sweeter milk. Oh, additionally, the different grains can give slightly different flavors. So those are going to be big things. What, what you're feeding to your goats is going to come out in their milk. If you have them eating blackberry bushes, which a lot of people like to do, it tends to make bitter milk. Anytime that they get out and eat a lot of weeds, even though that's a, a nice benefit of having goats, it tends to make the goat milk not taste as good. So I would recommend your animals who aren't milking at the time use them for that. Yeah. In addition to the kind of food that you feed the animals, it's really important that you get the milk strained and into your clean jars. We like using the mason jars because they have the sealing lids that go on them. So you, you've got your hot milk, you put your lid on, put it in the freezer. You want to get it down to 45 degrees within two hours in order to maintain that freshness. Generally speaking, that's also going to seal that lid down because of the temperature difference. Which keeps the freshness in longer as well. Right, right. Now, if you don't have goats, go ahead and listen to the next segment. If you don't like the flavor of your goat milk, what you want to do is add a little bit of vanilla, which does a fabulous job of masking that musky, goaty kind of flavor. And honey. And honey. Right. That's a little bit of sweetness to it. Right. These two things combined are going to create a fantastic flavor. And there isn't a specific amount you do. This is just to taste. In the summertime, one of the things that you can do is um, add a little bit of ice to it and put it in a blender as well. And then it's oh, like, like iced, iced milk. Iced oh, milk. it's actually, it's really good. Yum. When I was a kid, I always ate it like that because our milk was really goaty. Um, but as far as the vanilla goes, I'd say it's probably like uh, maybe about there. Maybe a quarter to a, a half of a teaspoon. And then for the honey, uh, my sister likes to do like three teaspoons or so <laughs> worth. But I think that's I think that's a lot. That's so quite a bit. <laughs> like one teaspoon, I think, is plenty of the honey. You do have to stir a little bit if your milk is cold for it to it to break up. So almost there. I was amazed when I tried it just how much better that this made the the milk. Well, and I I love goat's milk. Have you ever milk. tried it with honey? I never. Okay, so this is new for mm -hmm. me. I love goat's milk. I yeah. just drink it plain all the time. So this is going to be new for me to add flavoring. Yeah. No, it's actually it's super good. It's like a melted milkshake. Yeah, you know? but I love vanilla and I love uh -huh. honey right. and I love goat milk. So I can't imagine that can't this, go I wrong. Love this also. Yeah, and if you end up with little crystals of honey at the end, that's just dessert. Yes. 
beginning if I put it on that right there. Right. <laughs> okay. Oh wow. That really does yeah. sweeten it. Like mm, we just got a little bit of that honey right there on the right, side. Right. Mm -hmm. And you can't get even a hint of goat. Huh, not at all. What a great way to mask the flavor or even if you love the flavor, just sweeten it up for right. a nice little treat. Give you something a little bit different. Yeah. But I mean, I know a couple of people, myself included, who are very picky about that goat milk taste. And this is like such a great way to drink something that is yeah. really healthy for you, good for you, but also palatable.